All right, I'm here at the Google search event in Mountain View, California, and this is Michael, who's a Google employee, who's going to show off uh, some of the other new features that they just uh, debuted today. So, so if you want to just jump into any of the demos, that'd be awesome. So I'll show you uh, Google search by voice uh, first. Okay. Um, I work on uh, our Google Maps navigation product, uh, so it's a little loud in here, but I'll try to do a navigate uh, voice shortcut okay. up to San Francisco. So I just press the button on the screen. Navigate to Mario's Bohemian Cigar Store Cafe in San Francisco. We'll so this is like the, the stuff they just launched, the, little, the navigation yeah, so, um, they launched a few weeks ago, right? Yeah, so this, this is using navigation. So you can see right there, nails that long query. So we've right. um, had Google search by voice for about a year now. We've made some substantial improvements to the quality of the voice recognition. And we okay. just launched um, navigation in the last month. Right. Um, today we announced that... Um, uh, voice search is now available in Japanese, um, okay. and we recently made it available in Mandarin, so we're um, starting to expand the language base. Okay. And then um, for search by location, uh, we've got a couple of new things in Maps. We just launched a new version of Google Maps for mobile uh, for Android phones today. This is version 3.3. So the first thing you'll notice is that we've uh, labeled some of the most prominent places right on the map. So if you go to your location on the map, you'll see we're here at the Computer History Museum, mm -hmm. and it's labeled right there. So you can just tap it, immediately come in here. Um, you get information for it. You can even go and get a, a Wikipedia entry. Okay. Um, so you can do that as you're walking around. Additionally, um, if what you want is not labeled on the map, you just want to see what's around, you can just press anywhere on the map. It will pop a little bubble up, and then when you tap it, you can hit what's nearby. Mm -hmm. And it'll show you a list of the most prominent places nearby. And when you hit one of those, what is it like? What's the result that brings it to it? So if you tap Computer History Museum here, it's gonna um, look up the Computer History Museum. Okay. And essentially. And like where is Google it getting those reviews from? Um, so these are the same reviews that we've had in Maps for a long okay. time. So Got it. you can okay. come in here. And they're sourced from around the web and including partners. All right, great. Thank you very much. Okay.